Um, let's try the injury, let's see if we can help some people, that might be good. You're in a secluded hiding place near the park. Suddenly, you see a human grab her stomach and fall over. Oh no! I don't think she's playing a joke. Do you think we can help? Let's try and help. We can do this. We've got this. That's the spirit. What will you do? Uh-oh. <laughs> um, be like the spine doctor. Uh, we are kind, so we could do that. And I think we spent some, we spent some time with the spine doctor. We we could. I think we probably know enough. But let's go for it. I think we I, we can do this. You lay her down on her back gently and feel her belly. This rumbling calls for milkweed, a sure settler of such complaints. Well, go find some then. You dash into the park where you find a few pods of the stuff. Using your claw, you cut open the pods and drain the contents into the human's mouth. Let's see what happens. She moans and tries to push you away, but you hold her still and keep the medicine coming, just like the spine doctor taught you. Success! The human is soon standing unaided. Other humans come to help her, but she hardly needs their assistance. Well, good, yes? Advanced neurosurgery. <laughs> Alright. The human brushes milkweed fluff from her chin and looks around for her saviour. You're sure she's watching as you lope away. I'm not sure how solving stomach ache got me advanced neurosurgery points, but you never know, you know, live and learn. Okay, well that's going well. The human's starting to warm up to us. Um, Oops, quite a few days left. Uh, let's do another politics. Or, or no, I suppose. Mm, yeah, let's do another politics. Let's break it up a little. I'm going to go with the puddle. I think those have gone quite well for us in the past. Elder prudence is tiring as a debate about living alongside the humans. Okay, well let's hear what she has to say. Prudence says. They can't even eat a squirrel without killing it first. Their bodies are only slimy around their assorted holes. Why bother talking to them? Um, okay. We're best off keeping our distance forever. She slumps down, disgusted. Accuse her of cowardice? No. <laughs> just rule on it. Oh, I kind of want to, just to see what happens, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to get us anywhere. Uh, we're not going to agree with her. We, yeah, we're going to go with this, which is kind of more honest than it is kind, but uh, humans kill their food to spare them pain. Success. One of the elders agrees with you. It makes sense. A series of grunts and snarls follows and the crowd agrees that this explanation speaks well of the kindness of humans. Yes it does. So Monsters is up to 72% already so that is going really well. Uh, but we need to get humans liking Monsters a bit more so let's journey to Carmen. Uh, oh we could do a puddle again. Yeah that went well let's try that. The docks are fun. They smell like home. You're napping on a fishnet when you overhear a human talking. Where have they all gone? If there's no fish, this fisherman is done for. Are the fish hiding from the humans? Is that possible? Maybe they are. Then again, they're fish. You know where they are and could tell him. Not that a human is likely to trust one of your kind. But perhaps you could give him a clue. Okay, well let's tell him what you know about the fish then. You stand on the wheelhouse roof and clear your throat. As the fisherman notices you, you point grandly in the direction of the inlet where the fish spawn. He nods slowly. Make swimmy swim gestures. <laughs> the fisherman looks in the direction you indicated. You explain that you know the waters and the human seems intrigued. Keep telling the tale. The fisherman seems doubtful at first, but you manage to make him believe you. He soon sets off for the fish-rich inlet. Well, that's going well. Look, now they've both got smiley faces. Um, 
So yeah, let's do another one. That went so well. Let's see. Let's go as the surprise looking dude because he's cute. <laughs> Smoke. Glow. Crying. A human house is on fire. There's one small human child outside and... Is that a human baby inside? Uh-oh. Where are the fire humans with the big red engine? I don't think we have time to answer questions. I think we need to take action. The little human skin is burned. Oh no. And its howls are weaker by the second. The heat is so fierce it's already starting to hurt you. Muster the courage to get the baby out of the house. Give of yourself to heal the human baby from harm. Yeah, let's be kind. I think... I mean, we we could do either. Uh, but I think our kindness is slightly higher than our bravery, so we'll try this. You feel like the fire is inside you now, as well as all around you. You spit up as much slime as you can to protect the baby. But it stops breathing. Oh no! Keep the child safe! You force what little breath you have left into the human child's lungs, shielding its body with your own as the flames grow hotter. Keep at it! It coughs and spits and starts to wail. Oh, phew, okay. Humans are putting out the fire now, and you stagger to them, holding the baby for them to take. It clasps your claw with one tiny hand. Oh no, humans. Oh, we got some advanced neurosurgery again. Just by holding a baby. That's a bit weird, but... Well... <laughs> it is what it is. Behind you, the humans cheer. If only every human felt this way about every monster. If only. 